Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. I'll be up late. It is better than ever. Also, I'm going to show you what I'm making for dinner tonight because it's super fast and easy, and it's not like a... I'll show you. Well, the moment you fell, you could start over new. Was the same that you realized the stories were true. You opened your eyes, and the world you could see it wasn't dim, it was brighter. You'd have to agree. Okay, so this is my rendition of a pot roast, crock pot pot roast. Um, turn the pot roast up, or the crock pot up to high. I've got my roast, two bags of mini carrots. That's what I'm going to start by adding directly into the pot. So the next, I'm going to cut up some potatoes and an onion. I'm going lighter on the onion than I normally would. Normally I do like two, maybe three onions, depending upon how much is in there. But I have two full bags of carrots, and I just want you to see how full this is. <laughs> it's already a lot. So we're going to do one onion and then fill her up with potatoes. Okay, we are topped with potatoes and onions. Like this is overflowing, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to add, I think there's probably like a, <gasps> he woke up. <laughs> I think there's like a cup of beef broth in here. And then I'm going to add these three packets. It's just ranch, Italian, and brown gravy. I think there's a cup in here. I might open up another one and do a second cup because it's supposed to have two cups of liquid. I'm going with beef broth this time because I want it to have more flavor. Oh my gosh, look at that. Put another cup of liquid on. Mm. And we're on high, so we're cooking. That'll be probably ready in like five hours. On high, it should be ready in like three to four, but with it being that full, probably five or six. <laughs> Update on the roast. It's one o'clock and I just took off the side things. I'm gonna give it a stir. <laughs> also Gabriel's down there making a mess. After a little stir, everything has started to cook down a little. It's starting to smell really good. And I got all those seasonings mixed around into the broth. And I'd say it's like half full with the like displacement of the liquid. So it's reaching about halfway up and then really doing a good job steaming. So I know my meat is getting well cooked and I am very excited for that. It's also staying pretty moist, which is great. Then can you put it on the pumpkin? Nice. Good job. Oh, you're ruining the heart. Okay. That's what paint's for, Mom. No, don't dump. Thank you. Oh. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday. Christmas! It's Christmas! I meant to film mm. yesterday. Oh, I do Yeah, but I didn't get around to it. I didn't go to sleep till like 3.30 yesterday night, and then yesterday morning I woke up at like 8.30. It, I just did not get enough sleep. And then my body today was like... You're going to wake up at 6 after going to bed at almost 1. Fresh truck Christmas. So yesterday, tired, exhausted, a whole thing. However, I needed to get a bunch of things, so I went on Target Circle and found a bunch of stuff, coupons for things that I needed. Anyhow, so we went to Target to pick up my Target Circle order, and then a few of them I had to use in store only. So I got all of my deals and discounts, which was super nice. We also got coffee, and then we came home. We got ready to go, then I dropped, or my mom picked him up, and then I went to work. Really didn't get anything else done yesterday. But today, we are going to lunch with Gregory's grandma, and we have play practice tonight. This afternoon, my sister's coming over for her sewing class. I think we'll actually be able to get one of her projects done tonight, or this afternoon, as long oh, as no. 
Gabriel go stop for her nap. I also have some ideas I've been working on for next year and like goals and stuff. I need to film a bunch of things and wash a load, a couple loads of laundry apparently. It's process. Stop. We're, we're working. On it. So we're at nine thirty, I think. All right. So I am hanging up baby clothes that I washed. I got boys and girls, so nobody freak out. So we finished the laundry. We got the house tidied for the night. My bedroom's tidied. I'm just going to get into some editing tonight. But can you guys believe it's time for the end of the month review already? Oh, but it's also crazy. We only have two left. Technically one end of the month and then an end of the year. That's crazy. So at this point, how are you guys doing on your goals for the year? Like, I want to know if you've set any goals for yourself for this year and you know you haven't really like done anything with them or you've kind of forgotten them or they've just been put on the back burner why don't you revisit those and just tell me how you're doing and if it's not so good that's okay i've got a lot of goals i'm not doing so hot on <laughs> another goals that are great everything is a challenge every day is a challenge sometimes sometimes days are easy but most of the time they're not and i get that so tell me how you're doing on your goals for the year or the month or the week or wherever you're setting goals for yourself, whether it's good or bad, and make a pact with me right now to do your best with what you can offer yourself to finish the year strong. It's only two months left. You know, if we can start the first two months of the year off strong, we can definitely end the last two months of the year off strong. So. Let's get into it. Number one, goal has not changed. Number two, goal has not changed. Number three, no change. Number four, no change. Number five, no change. Number six, I am behind. So technically no change. However, I do intend to record three songs at some point over the weekend because I have a reduced weekend. It's not free but my amount of obligations is reduced. I am getting my nails done on Saturday though, and they look beautiful and nice. And then I realized that I am getting a photo shoot where this does not match either of the dresses that I'm gonna wear. It's likely it's not gonna match the third one that I pull from the, the boutique either. Getting my nails done in a different color. Just trying to decide between a nude or a white. Put your opinions down below, nude or white. I'm gonna try and get three songs done over the weekend, so I have my November one in the hopper. Number seven, technically there's change in this. Let me explain. We were supposed to, you know, our, our first goal of the year was like to pay off all of our debt and like really like pound it out and like not do anything else and just pay that stuff off. And we did, until we didn't. Um, a couple of months ago, I want to say it was like at the end of August that we found out. Basically, um, Gregory got a pre-approval for a home, and I say Gregory because we're running the financing in his name, uh, just because it makes more financial sense for us. He got a pre-approval, and we kind of started looking back into houses again. And so we decided that it was important for us to have a down payment of some kind. Just in September, we were able to do so. And in October, we decided that we wanted to have like 10000 saved for this deposit. Or not deposit, down payment. It's totally different when you're not renting. 
anyway, so we did that. And now I have kind of planned out next month in December and what those two months estimated, you know, the idea of what those two months will look like for us. And this still is a very attainable goal for the year. We won't be paying off the car. We paid off like half of it. Um, and we'll pay off most of it. I think we'll have like a thousand dollars left. So just like four or five months left to pay on it. But anyway, we just, that wasn't part of that goal to begin with. And it has almost been accomplished, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the update of where we're at. We saved for a down payment, which we didn't anticipate doing. And we didn't anticipate putting that first, but considering Gregory got his pre-approval, then we were like, this is important just in case. Um, and it's been very, you know, good to have that. Uh, but anyway, so that's where we are. Goal number eight, no change. Goal number nine, no change. Goal number 10, um, no real change. Uh, we did look at a house, well, Gregory went and looked at a house yesterday after work and we thought it was really gonna be the home that we wanted. And then we realized the land was great, but it wasn't as much as we had hoped. And there was no real ability for us to do a bunch of projects on it. And we are project people. And if we don't do projects, we get a little antsy. <laughs> Hence my busy schedule. So we were just like, you know, that and then the extra money to put into the house within three years that we'd have to do to make it really feasible for our future and our forever home, which is really what we want. It just didn't make sense for us. So we kind of decided, you know what, for now we're going to pass on it, keep an eye on it, see how it goes. Um, and for the price, like if the market took a dramatic turn and interest rates went way down and people were just desperate to get out of their homes and like everything dropped in price and we were paying like 4% interest on a house that was you know say it dropped like 50 to $80,000 that's a totally different story but that's not the case anyway tomorrow or sometime this weekend we're hoping to be able to go look at another house that we both really like it's in a good area for where we want to be so there's a lot of benefits to it and it's not like super far like out of the way of anything so all the benefits of being in the country with all the benefits of being in the city the only negative part of it is is that it isn't quite as much land as we want but it's set up so well and it's conveniently situated and it's surrounded by farmland where you know there's no one behind us, around us, whatever, for a while. And if, you know, should someday that farmer decide to sell, there's potential we could have a shot at buying that land. Like, you never know. And there's no guarantee on that either. But even if we never did, we'd still be plenty happy with what we've got going on or what we would have going on there. So we're going to look at it. We'll see. He'll probably look at it. I'll be working. <laughs> That is the house update. Number 11, no change. Number 12, no change. Number 13, 14, and 15 are all no change. I want to address number 15 and technically 13. So 13 is prayers with Gabriel in the morning and evening. And we have been trying to get more of a routine with prayers down in the evening and meal prayers and everything like that in terms of like we've been adding it in here and there it's just not consistent yet so but and I haven't really put a focus on it so I'm not gonna say that there's much of a change and number 15 I can't tell you how many times I've thought about like I want to journal this I want to write this down I want to blah 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 I don't I am trying so hard to make a chunk of time where I can write so hard I am trying to get the book done to complete that goal for the year. I am so, I am trying. That I just, I, I'm trying really hard to figure that out. And I it's just, that's where my focus is because I've been working on this book for years and years and I really want to finish it because I really do love it. Not just to like get it done, but because I want to write it. I want to finish it. Um, I'm at a sticky part, you know, where it's like, 
I don't entirely not know where I'm going, but it's just how do I put all this information in without it being boring or lackluster? How do I describe something I've never lived before without it sounding super cheesy and movie-like? And it, There's just a lot and I need to be in the zone in order to really write that or be able to like really do some research and really focus and I need a good two hours just to you know even get started on where I want to be with that and maybe get a page written so and I just haven't had that time and it's one of those things where this isn't like a lack of motivation it's a lack of information and I know I need time in order to gain it and I just don't have it so it's been really difficult um, but that's really where my focus has been is where can I find a couple of hours to carve out time for myself to do this? And I was so close this weekend, and it's just not going to happen, which is unfortunate, but that's the way that the cookie grumbles, you know. That's where we're at. There is not a lot of change in most of the goals, and the things that did change are more like minor updates. Like, I haven't actively been really hard working towards blah, 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 blah. Even for the things that I have been actively working very hard towards, there's no tan there's no tangible outcome to that. So um for example I can't say, Oh yeah, I went and wrote for three hours this month or something like that. Or I am only three pages away from finishing my book, right? Even though you can't see it, it's tangible. And I just don't have that, <laughs> which is really unfortunate. Um I am getting really excited though because I've been kind of working on my goals for next year. Some of them are just a little too broad for me. And some of them, I don't know that I love them, but the idea of them is pretty good. And I have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six that I don't even have an idea for, and they're just like an area. Anyway, thank you for listening. <laughs> I hope you appreciated this goal update as much as I appreciated the accountability of having the goal update. There's so much going on right now. And I'm really, 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 really hoping that once the boot comes off and the show is done during the week, I can find the motivation in my brain to not let me just like sit on the couch and feel tired, but to like get things done. Today, I went through the baby clothes and I washed them because that was my one of my goals for this week was to, to do that. I did that today and I felt so good. There's a number of other things that I need to do for like when the baby gets here but like I need a place to put certain baby clothes and things and I don't actually have that right now because I, I need another dresser and I just have not been able to find one that I like that isn't like $400 and well $400 isn't like out of the realm of possibility or anything it just seems so drastic for a dresser and like I know that a good dresser can last you like forever you know basically not forever forever but a long time like the dresser that I have is from when I was like a small child I understand that it can you know be an, a long-term investment but it just if it doesn't end up matching or going with things or it just becomes not functional in our space when we end up moving. I don't want to invest $500 into something that I'm just gonna have to buy something new once I get into a new space to figure out what fits. And that's really why I'm just like, I don't wanna. I have times, hopefully. So I've been looking, but I honestly need to look harder. Oh well. Anyhow, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Then hit the bell down below so you can get notifications for when more videos come out. And someone did find... I have like an Easter egg hidden in the description of my video. And it's not even that well hidden. It's just like a fun thing that I do. You got to this point and you did this thing. And now I know. And that's really cool to me. And for the first time ever, somebody's actually like commented and found that they found the Easter egg and I'm just like that's so cool <laughs> and I'm sure there's other people that are like oh that's stupid I'm not doing it but saw it but just the fact that knowing that people have actually done that makes my heart very happy so thank you for being here I appreciate you all and we'll see you next time love Genevieve <laughs>